Unfortunate. Yeah. Oh. That was pretty good movement with the up air. It's like pretty. Oh. He had some pretty good pressure right there. He's got to hit those uh, uh, shines though. Those oh. are important. The tech chase. Man. That was a very quick game. I think it just got out of hand for Hank very rapidly. Yeah. So I think what Hank needs to do is he needs to slow down the pace. That makes sense to me, yeah. Uh, I think if he can slow it down, he's got a much better shot. At... And those, like, fanatic scrapping situations that look like Reach was coming out on top. Yeah, a vast majority of the time. All right, Love we need some good Fox versus Falcon. Yes, what was, sir. What was oh, first game looking like? Not good. It was like a Reach, three stock. Reach gimped him really early on. Hank stole the ledge early on, and then Reach didn't lose a stock. Yeah, Reach has been just deleting Hank stocks this yeah. shot so far. That was a 15-second stock, and... Uh, Oh, oh. unfortunate. I don't think Henry's warm. They did hand warmers before this, but I don't think he's fully warm either. We were we were saying he probably just needs to slow down the pace. It's all this scrapping that's getting him into trouble. If uh, well, it looks like he's just like when he's losing his hits, he's just getting deleted. Yeah. He's losing the exchanges harder than Reach loses his exchanges. Yeah, so he... I wouldn't say slower, but definitely a little more patient. Um, playing yeah. a little... Maybe play more like, paced. Play outside of his threat zone a little more. Maybe see if he'll overextend. Because, um, like, if you're across stage and Falcon's going to, like, try to nair you, like, that's just free for you. Yeah, you have plenty of time to react. I hope he goes to, like, FD after this. Yeah, or somewhere besides these super small stages. Give him a little more time to react to whatever Reach is throwing at him. That was good. Um, nice 30%. Yeah, except like, oh, that's the one percent where like you don't get anything much better. Like you have to, if you're in oh. that position, you, you can maybe like forward throw, but yeah. there's not really much you can do in the way of like getting a full combo if they're like already in the corner. Oh, very Whoa. nice. All right, Hank draws. It. Hank brings it back. Hank is bringing it back we got, a lot. We got a last stock situation on this game too. Jeez. <laughs> we have a high octane match going on. Hey, you know what? Half half the good part about a tournament is having your TO be hyped for matches. So that's true. Good for him. <laughs> Reach hasn't caught on yet, but I'd like to see Hank start mixing up his techs, so he doesn't catch on in general. Well. If, as long as he knows he's like mixing up, it's basically just like win in the like win neutral in the guess. Yeah. And so like if he's gonna like play the risk, if Henry gets predictable, he's gonna play the risk reward different. But like mm -hmm. it's basically just like we're gonna gamble. Looks like we're going back to Yoshi's. I guess he liked um, how that game went. He just didn't like the ending to it. This stage is good for uh, Falcon. I don't I don't think it was the right choice, but uh, like. Because if he's wanting to like play more control, he's like he's going to a stage where like a full like drift falcon there covers more than half of stage. Yeah. So there's no way he can avoid it. The best you can do Ooh. is play around. Oh no, it. that's that was. He could have down smash or up smash there. Yeah, that was very better. good. Oh my god. Oh this is no. Disgusting. Wow. Wow. Reach yeah. converting extremely hard off of that stomp he got. Yeah. Captain Falcon needs a good punish. Captain Falcon. <laughs> this is a good Captain Falcon punish. Yeah. That was like... Falcon has to have good punish. One of the most complicated compete. stomp knees I've ever seen. Oh, <laughs> my God. <sighs> That's fucked up. We're going to do the wait, too. <laughs> I love it. Wait for... Uh, make sure no one gets invincibility advantage. All right, it looks like Hank's trying to play the platforms a little more. Very nice. Oh, very oh. nice. Oh. Back here sending like the wrong way. Yeah. yeah like, it once did... you have to force Falcon up B, it's kind of just like a, at worst, a rich repeat if you're doing it. Right? Yeah. Okay, here's that B. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Shine good is job. actually super good there. It's like one of the better moves because you can't tech it. And, like, it also will reach the low ledge if you just drop zone with it. Yeah. Uh -huh. There he had to guess, so he got his punish, but... Oh, oh. shit. 
Ooh, nice. Oh, holy shit, yeah. Very nice. Hank turned it around he really could've, quick. He could've waited there on the back air, but it didn't matter. Yeah, it ended up working out anyways. You really don't have to leave the ledge when you're up here. Yeah, the only the only thing that happens when you leave ledge sometimes is you get grabbed in the up B and then yeah, they're back like, for free anyways. You you can always uh yeah. gets the guess. You can always be safe on the ledge from Captain Falcon. Yeah. And as a, a character with like a good ledge dash, like even more so, because like you can just still free punish them. Alright, Hank, turning it up a little bit. Ooh. Trying to force this game four. Very nice back air. With the back air. Oh! He yeah. beats him to ledge. Nice job, Hank. Forcing yeah, game kinda, four. You get the... You get to set the pace of that recovery. Yeah, he does a really good job forcing Reach to have to choose between trying to go high onto the platform, which he blocked off with that back air, or going to ledge and trying to beat him, which he unfortunately didn't do. Peace out. Thanks for coming. But now we're on Falcon, one of Falcon's favorite stages, Dreamland, so... Yeah, this one's just real... Oh, okay. I feel yeah, like mess up. Hank has been doing pretty decent in neutral. It's just Hank's advantage state has just been, like, blowing him up in the first two games. Yeah. Ooh, Reach has okay. had a lot more consistent of a punish game whenever he gets these hits. Yeah. Whereas Hank has been dialing it up each game. So we've got to see if he can keep that pace and it keeps on getting better. And more importantly, oh, if he yeah. can outpace Reach. Oh, never mind. Like, that's an overextend on a... Uh, and Reach actually turned himself around, so he couldn't make it back. Dead, yeah. I don't. Oh. Shit. Oh. Oh. Oh my oh, wow. God. Reach connecting a lot of things that seem like they shouldn't connect, but ends up taking that stock. Oh my God. Oh my. Oh no. Well, how's it going, Jake? Classic. Uh, an OG Springfielder. Yeah. Left us for STL. You went back to the good place. Better place. Hey. I was going to say, it's all Missouri, so... Uh, I, I think James, James has a tablet. Oh. Yeah. Alright, and while I was not looking, Reach took another stock. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta hit... He's gonna... Oh. oh. He's got... Oh, wow. That was really good SDI. It just was not enough. Hank is in a grim situation. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh. Oh, very nice. Forced an SD. <laughs> now we gotta see a game three like turnaround. Honestly, you go for those at that point. Yeah, you're up, you know, two stocks or th two stocks up, up. Yeah, you gotta go for it. But that's gonna be the set. Reach taking it 3 1 with some very solid Falcon play. Yeah, that could be, so you just kinda like hit the delete button. Like every yeah. couple stocks. He would just catch Hank out doing something that he really shouldn't and just deleted stocks every time he did. All right, friends. I uh, am going to go and get Bobby to come back, and then we're going to play Melee. Awesome. You guys going to play on stream? Yes. All right. I definitely thought you just inputted schnurps. <laughs> I'm like, who the fuck is that? So, Dag, did you make it out? Who'd you lose to? Okay. Hey, you did pretty good, though. You, you all made it out of your pool. The two people I beat were ultimate players. So I double four-star each, so I consider that good. Did you, hey, did you tell him sorry? Well, you're doing better than me. How have you? I made it out. I, uh, I got bopped by a reach. I almost took a game, and then I fucked up, so. Up next, it looks like we're going to have Bobby Frizz versus Schnurb. Schnurb and Bobby, we both saw in teams earlier. Which, it'll be interesting to see how Schnurb holds up against Bobby in singles. Bobby, obviously a very good player. Uh, Schnurb, I have not been aware of what he's accomplished while I was not paying attention to Melee. Yeah, Seven, I'm not you want to sure. fill me in? I'm not sure. I don't know that much about the... I know Schnurb, when I left, was a very good player as well. But when I left, Bobby was top 100, and very good, very scary player. They both are, honestly. 
it'll be. I, I think this will be a very interesting Fox Ditto to see. Yeah, dude, I love watching the Fox Ditto. Like, I, I like watching some Fox Dittos. If you get a laser heavy Fox, I think it could get a little stale. But the way Bobby plays, and from what I remember, the way Schnurb plays, it will be a very good watch. Yeah, and um, I don't know. My favorite matchup, probably Fox Falco to watch. That is my favorite. I matchup. love watching that matchup. Fox bro. Falco is such a volatile, <laughs> explosive, cool matchup. It's my favorite to watch in the game. No seven. Yeah. Do you know how long we will be going? Like, should I set up my interview stuff now, or should I wait? We have the place till midnight, right? Yeah, you can do it now. I mean, I don't know what time people are gonna leave, so I would do it. And then that now, way you're kind of set up in the corner when Turner gets here at six. Now is probably a solid time because yeah. people are gonna start leaving soon, and you can ask them, "Hey, before you leave, you gonna do a quick interview?" Yeah. Like, that sort of thing. I wouldn't rush it, but take your time and set it up if you want. Yeah, I mean, it is only four thirty, so. Four thirty? Yeah. Okay, I might set it up. Yeah, I was going to say, if anything, just set it up in case you find someone you want to interview, and you already got it ready. I'm very excited to see how this tournament plays out. I can't wait to watch Zamu and Bobby go at it. Yes. I think that'll be a That's great match. That's what I'm waiting for. Bobby seemed like he was on today, so I think it'll be a very good match. Have they played recently? I they don't They played know. at, uh, I believe they played at Timeskip. The Oklahoma tournament of okay. the Springfield went to. But I can't confirm that because I cannot remember. Yeah. But I do know Bobby was not at his maximum capacity at time skip. Honestly, we've got a lot of interesting matchups in this top 16. Zamu Reish is also going to be pretty fun to watch. Uh, Bobby Swaglord will be good. We have we actually have a lot of Fox Dittos. If Bobby beats Schnurb and then beats Swaglord, he'll have three Fox Dittos in a row, with a possible fourth in Grand Final, if he wins. Yeah, you have to play Max, the local Falco Ditto. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Have you played Max recently? No. They're pretty good now. Um, I, I I don't think I've actually played them since they came back, but I know they beat Turner. Um, but I think you beat Turner too, right? Yeah, I did. Yeah. I'm 1-1 with Turner right now. Yo, Glot making it out of pools. Let's go. Time skip Glot showing up, maybe. Probably not. Look, as much as I would love to see time skip Glot every time, I understand that not everyone can turn it on all the time. <laughs> yeah, where do these people go? Uh, that's a fantastic question. I think they might have like gone to the bank, gone to the DMV, done all their errands. What's up? We're supposed to have Schnurb and Bobby Frizz, but they I don't know where they are. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit, I think Watt is reporting a score. Uh, do you guys do me a favor? And just let people know I am setting it up. Like just when they're over here. Oh 